Juniors is a detective style Fires of Freddy's fan game where you need to deduce which animatronic is haunted out of the bunch. Not only do you need to catch the haunted animatronics, but you need to make sure that you repair all the animatronics during your search, otherwise they will kill you. But what if we didn't repair the animatronics? Well in this video, that's what we're going to find out. Is it possible to beat Juniors without repairing the animatronics? So for the rules, pretty basic. I have to beat the main Five Nights of Juniors, but during which I am not allowed to call any character for repairs and as such repair them. I would have to use every bit of detective skill in my arsenal in order to win. And I managed to discover a hidden mechanic that I've never heard of before. So make sure to stick around to the end to see what that actually is. And since you're sticking around, why not subscribe? I'll love you forever. Anyways, with that out of the way, let's get into night one. So for starters, let's go over Junior's gameplay and how it works. In Junior's, you have six animatronics you need to keep track of. Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, Marionette, and Balloon Baby. These six go from camera to camera and display signs of being haunted once the ghost decides to possess one. The puppet does not appear on cameras, but you can hear a lullaby, and Balloon Baby is invisible but still displays haunted attributes. On top of trying to find out who's haunted, you're also meant to manage everyone's stability. The number next to the animatronic's face indicates how much stability they have left. If this number hits zero, they kill you. So you are meant to send the characters for repair to fix it. But obviously, we aren't doing that today. This means two things. One, this game becomes more of a speedrun as we are basically only allowed to have a certain amount of time to find all the characters rather than being able to take as long as we want, as long as we manage everyone's stability. This also means that we won't ever have the option of removing a character from the running. The ghost can never haunt an animatronic that's being repaired or on its way for repairs, if it's not already haunted, which means that we always have to deal with every single character. This does also mean that we never run the risk of dying because we sense a character who is haunted for repairs, which does kill you. However, this means nothing when you can't repair anyone. For night one, we have to catch two hauntings to end the night, and we have a lot of time to do it. This is the tutorial night after all, and it's probably the only night that you can beat without ever needing to look at stability. Each night adds a new way of telling whether a character is haunted, and this night starts with the first way of telling, flashing lights. If an animatronic on your camera is haunted when this tell is active, the camera screen will flash and flicker much more than usual. It is subtle, so you do have to make sure that you look closely, and obviously for a new player such as myself, it took me way longer than needed to figure it out. Something else I should mention is guessing. Once you've made your selection on who you think is haunted, you then have to input your guess. If you guess incorrectly, then the animatronic stability is reduced by 50. This obviously reduces the amount of time that you have by half, and in some cases just ends your run. However, night one wasn't that bad, and although it took me longer than I thought it would, I did end up being this night, no problem. Night 2 was where I really started to have problems, and it was all due to the new tell, handprints. The way handprints work is that when a haunted animatronic leaves a room, they leave a handprint behind. Seems easy enough, however there are two big problems. One, characters move so goddamn slowly that it takes forever for handprints to have a chance to appear. And secondly, handprints show up in the corners of cameras, 9 times out of 10. So even if a character leaves a handprint, I very rarely caught it, and remember, time is my enemy. Because of how slow characters move and my inability to effectively find haunted characters, I died quite a bit, mainly because of wrong guesses, as I would take so ungodly long to guess that I'll either have to guess or die trying. Unlike Night 1, I have to find 3 haunted characters rather than 2, which isn't that bad, but remember how long we have to wait between catching characters. The one saving grace of this mode is Balloon Baby. Balloon Baby basically is the free parking pass of this game. If he's haunted, his number glitches out on stability, making him very easy to catch him. And although he can never be imposter twice in a row, having him appear once makes all the difference and that's how I eventually beat it. Night 3 was honestly way easier than Night 2, for one main reason, the new tell. The new tell introduced on this night is the camera manipulation. When this tell is active, the haunted animatronic will cause your camera to move by itself when in the camera the haunted animatronic is on. This one made it quite easy to tell who was haunted and is the easiest so far. I definitely still died a bit for making mistakes, but this night was definitely easier than the ones before. Although, I did have the most insane clutch for being this night. Just watch.
Night 4 was where everything that could go wrong, did go wrong. Everything started off great, because one last tell, which in my opinion is the easiest tell to figure out, the camera break. This causes the animatronic who is haunted to completely break any camera they are on, meaning any character you see on a functional camera is innocent, making this easily the fastest way of finding characters. However, despite that, the biggest issue is the fact that we've got to bust 6 characters to win. And we only have about 5 minutes before everyone's stability hits zero. That may not seem that bad, but I was averaging about 2 minutes to find out who was haunted, since between waiting for the ghost to haunt a new character, figuring out which tell was active, and watching the animatronics to find out who was haunted ate up so much time, especially if the tell was something like handprints. But surely this night wasn't that hard, right? Right? Okay, so this night was hard. I died so much that it was just kind of ridiculous. However, what helped me beat this night was a hidden mechanic which allowed me to discover who was haunted super quickly and catch the baddies almost every single time. And for me to show you what this actually is, just watch this clip. What, you didn't catch it? Listen closely. Did you hear it? If you listen ever so slightly, you can hear a phone ringing. When this phone rings, it means that the haunted animatronic is in this camera. I'm not kidding. This mechanic is so random, but it is there and it helps so much completing this night. So with that and a bit of luck, we actually beat night four. Night 5 was actually super f***ing easy for some reason. The main reason for this was 1 because I've just gotten so f***ing good at the game, and 2 because while stability goes down faster on this night and we have to catch 7 hauntings, the ghost haunts almost instantly on this night. There isn't the 30 seconds of downtime we have to worry about. We can just catch so many baddies so quickly if we know what we're looking for. And yeah, I did after, you know, basically beating Night 4, so let's go. Yes! And there we have it. It is possible to beat Juniors without repairing the animatronics. Now, Night 6 is completely different to the normal gameplay loop, so obviously it doesn't affect the challenge. And before I get someone in the comments asking me to complete the custom night of this challenge, I don't think it's possible to complete 35 tasks before 5 minutes comes. If it is, then holy crap, that's insane. I would like to complete this custom night challenge at some point regardless though. It looks like a lot of fun. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and check out my other challenge videos. Thank you guys so much for 13,000 subscribers. This growth has been insane, so keep it up. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys in the next video.